this video is about an introduction of uh, built-in functions uh, and then we'll look specifically at one of the built-in functions called print. So what's a built-in function? Um, well, the person that created um, the person that created Python coding is called Guido van Rossum. I'm probably saying that wrong. And here you can say, see he was a Dutch programmer who uh, created Python programming. And when he created Python programming, he put in lots of built-in functions, okay, in Python. Now, here is a list of all of the built-in functions. Okay, so there's about 70. Um, I'm not going to make video for all 70, but I will make videos for about maybe 20 of them. So what is a built-in function? Well, it's a reusable piece of code that performs an action or a specific task. All right, so all of these perform an action or a specific task. The one I want to look at today is called print. So we'll figure out what action does print do or what specific task does print do. So as always, go to gcsecs.com. Com. And then when you get there, under Contact More, there's a code editor. Click on Code Editor. And I'm just going to collapse the amount of code space and make the result space bigger and delete these comments. So what are we looking at? We're looking at the print function. I'm just going to Control C and then Control V. Okay. Control C with your left hand on the keyboard and Control V will shortcut a lot of your coding. So I've copied and pasted this built-in function into my code editor and I'm going to drop in a number 14 and I'm going to run that and let's see what it does. Well there we go. So what does the print function do? Well it clearly displays stuff to the screen. All right it's a really rubbish word stuff. Let's be more specific a number. Let's be even more specific an integer and I'll do videos on what an integer is uh, later on. Okay, well that's that. Let's uh, let's do um, let's put a name in there. Let's go with Ronnie. Ah, oh, I get a, it crashes. Okay, it says name Ronnie is not defined. Well, that's because I didn't code it properly. I need to put speech marks around the word Ronnie and then run it, and now it works. So we can see a difference of how print works with a number. I don't need speech marks uh, with some text or actually the technical word for this is a string, I do need speech marks. And I'll do videos about that. I just want to introduce a print function. So we've got Ronnie displaying. I'm going to highlight Control-C, go to line 2, Control-V. And is the print function um, reusable? Let's see. Yes, it is. I've used it twice. Line 1, I've got a function. Uh, called print which is displaying the string Ronnie. On line two we've got the function print displaying the string Bobby. Uh, let's see if I can do it three times. Yep, it's outputting all three names. What if I do it with an empty string and then put something below that? And there we go, an empty string just displays a space, which is quite useful. And that's it, that's how we use the print function. Uh, we can use it to display numbers or strings. The technical word for the things in the brackets are strings, okay? Feel free to pause the video and play around with it. Uh, here's a little task, have a go at this. Uh, see if you can get Python to output, I am coding with a space and then can you on, a, on the last line. Have a go at that, pause the video, and now I will reveal the answer. Okay, so the answer of how to do this, well, I've got the code here. I'll just drop it in here and I'll run that. There we go, I am coding with a space, can you? So on line one, I've got the print function with uh, displaying the string i. On line two, I've got a print function displaying the string am. Line three, a print function displaying the string that says coding. Number four, print function that's got an empty string. And line five, I've got a print function that displays the string can you with a couple of question marks. 
And that's it. So that's uh, an introduction to built-in functions. Again, there are about 70 odd of them. And we've now had a go and played around with the print function, which displays uh, strings or numbers to the screen.